we are going to have David walk us through his routine looking at the MarketSmith iPad app because there's a lot, David, that you like going through to get that pulse of what's going on in the market on an industry group level, also from an individual stock basis. So it would be great to get an inside look at your process. Okay. So where I start is I bring up lists. Um, and and this, I actually, um, well, I'll, I'll try to go even farther back. Okay. So here, you, you, down in the left-hand corner, you have either a list or you have screens and you can, you can do either one of them. Um, and you can see I have I, smart alerts, I think is, 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 is part of the, the program, but I have my own list. I have favorites, activity lists, reports, track. So I have favorites. And so I click on favorites and these are ones I've designated as, as favorites. And you can see Minervini uh, trend one month. I look at that every week and I saw that there's about 71 names up there, but nothing really new, nothing compelling. There were a lot of takeover. There was takeovers in there. Um, I have what I call my data monitor. That's, that's just a list that I, I keep on throwing stocks that I like to look at on a weekly basis. Um, I even have a short list. There's the market Smith 250 and that that I click on and I usually go, um, I always go through that on a weekly basis. The other thing I do is, so up comes this list. Now, how do I sort this list? I go up to sort and I always I always look at a lot of my lists in, in group rank because I want to see the strongest stocks, uh, the strongest groups in the market first, the strongest groups, and then the strongest stocks within those uh, within those markets. So, and then you you push apply, and you can even sort it a few different ways. I mean, there's so many different ways you can sort it, but I I always like on my weekly review, I always go through that. So, what's the first group? First group is um, is the solar stocks, and I have it right now. I have it on a weekly. I actually go back and forth on a weekly. These are the daily charts. Um, the weekly gives you a bigger, you know, a bigger view. I tend to go back and forth. End phase looks pretty good. Look how how tight that has been for the last five, uh, four or five weeks. The other thing that's good is that when you click on it, then you can come up and there is a bigger chart on the weekly. And you can see all the different trend lines that I've drawn in there. I even have a trend line for that to go through 300 again. And it's uh, it's not there yet. And I think I, I I drew those lines in on my um, on my desktop, um, and so that's a name that I like. Then what I do is, if you see the little flag up near the name End Phase Energy, what I do is then I click on that because I want to at, at the at, when I've gone through hundreds of stocks at the end of the day or on Sunday night, I like to go through all those stocks that I've flagged to get really specific names that I want to I want to be buying or I really want to set limits on or or price alerts on so I can um, I can pick and buy those or at least be notified that they're starting to move. So that flag throws it into a, a, a flagged list, which I'll go through later. So anyway, and then you can, there's so much information, then you get the, then you get, you know, I have the fundamentals there so I can see what the earnings and the estimates are and the ownership and all the canceling characteristics. So that's how I come up with one name. Then I go back to lists and I start going through. So that stock right there is the most compelling out of these four, but then I can start going through them pretty quickly. First solar, it's extended. I just have to go through that. Array actually looks looks fairly good, but it hasn't been that strong of a stock. Sun Power still in a, a downtrend. Vertex, back and forth, back and forth. And so now here's one I put in, Catalyst Pharmaceuticals. Had a nice run up. That might be, I want to check, um, that might be a takeover. And sometimes I go, I do go back and forth no, that's just a stock that had a great move and now is consolidating. So that's why I flagged that. Then um, a lot of these are biotechs, um, Nucrin, uh, Bioscience, NBIX. Looks like it's a big, long base. I might go, that's a weekly. I might even go to the monthly on that to see 
you know, has this done, uh, has this done anything in the last, uh, I'm, I'm actually going back and forth. It's just in a, a, a big long base for the last year and a quarter. So uh, I'm going to move back through that. But then I just, I keep on going through them and I'm just looking for setups. Now, uh, this IMCR looks like I flagged it, but it looked this week, it's actually it's actually breaking down. So I'm going to take that off. I just unflag it because I don't like how it's breaking down. And this is, you know, here you got a, a takeover. A lot of biotechs have had some nice moves. Um, and some of them, if I just don't see the proper base, uh, then I'll just keep on going. And so you can go through, and now I'm, I'm not, I don't go through this fast, but I'm just moving, <laughs> moving up to some other industries to see if there's anything, you know, other, other names. Clean Harbors looks pretty good. Look, it's up near highs and it's starting to drift off. At least this week, it's not, it's not off much. So then I'm going to click on that. And there's, there's the daily just going sideways. Maybe go to the weekly. Yeah. Nice kind of longer base. So this, this actually looks pretty good. And this one has been a very consistent company. If you look at the earnings to the left, 2017, it's 20 cents, then 126, 189, 232, 364. And that's actually almost doubling 87% for this year, flat for next year, um, but is, is hanging along the top. So that's one I want to flag. And so, so, and that, and then I go back to my lists and there's clean harbors again. And then I just keep on going through them, see if there's any other ones. Um, you know, some it looks like some of the some of the stocks in the group are acting well. I mean, waste management, waste connections hanging up near the highs. So that's that's a good sign. So so then once I've gone through these stocks, then I go back, I go back to my oops, let's see, I go back to my lists. Uh oops, sorry. Uh so here's my favorites. I've gone through the Market Smith 250. I go through I might go through the IBD ready. I go the Minervini. I go through my own, I call it data monitor. That's something from an institutional when I was working at, at O'Neill. Um, and then there's RSI, blue dot. There's the groups. I'll go through the groups and I go through in group order and 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 see what is, you know, what is at the, the top of the, the group. I have the sort order. And see, that's why I said, you know, some of the, there's still a few oil and gas stocks, oil and gas groups that are still up there. And, um, and then, you know, and, and I'm just going through which are in uptrends. You'll see telecom fiber optics broke badly last week. Medical is holding up there, but then telecom cable broke back below the 200. Infrastructure had a nice move up, pulling back to the 200. There's energy coal still in a nice uptrend above the 200 day. Beverages, alcohol down sideways, contract manufacturing sideways, retail restaurants up to the 200 day breaking, coming off. See, a lot of these, this is what I said, a lot of these went to the 200 day and now have come back down below it. Um, and, and these are supposed to be the best groups. Well, there aren't that many very good groups that are above their 200 and, and in an uptrend. Look at computer service techs right up to the 200 day rolling over. Um, so this is why I'm saying, boy, there's not too many retail auto parts still hanging up there pretty well, but there's just not a lot of groups that are in strong uptrends. We look at retail apparel shoes back up to the 200 day rolling over. So, so then Final, the final thing that I do is then I go back to my favorites and then let's see, then flag symbols. So here are the flag symbols and you can see clean harbors, which we flag that's up there. There's end phase. So these, I get down to, uh, I got to get, get my head out of the way so I can see how many stocks. So I have 20 stocks in these flag symbols. These are the ones that I, I, I went through this weekend or I, I think I actually had about 40 in them and I cleaned about 20 of them out because I, there's just not much hanging in there doing well. New Fortress industry, industry, uh, Energy, I was going to mention that, that's that's doing well. Wingstop, I was looking at as, at a, as a short, but I'm, I'm going to, 
I'm taking that off. That that thing can have some big moves. But here's some of the other ones. LNG is still hanging, still doing well. AMR. I don't know Rhythm Pharmaceuticals. Denbury, we talked about that. There's Scorpio tankers. There's International Seaways, the two that I was mentioning. Uh, Catalyst. I don't know Compass Therapeutics, but that's <clears throat> that's an intriguing little base that's going on there. Um, five below is more of a short. Sometimes I, I flag short symbols, CF still, but we just mentioned that. So Privia Health has had a nice move, seems to be holding nice, nice base in there. Uh, stock in that industry got um, taken over. Now, here's a little one. There's a $2 stock. <laughs> Yatra, I guess. Is that how you pronounce it? This is an Indian company. I was going to call a friend of mine who's from there and um, and check that out. I mean, here's a nice long base they're in. <laughs> hey, it sounds like a, a travel service. I don't know anything that's going on in India. And so I'm not going to go ahead and buy that, but it's a compelling base. Now, that's a weekly. Let's see what it's done on a monthly. It hasn't really been a great stock since it came out, but it had that first move up in the last six months seems to be holding it. So back to list. And so I think that might have been, oh, then let's see, I had a few others. Well, there's Lululemon. That's for more. Short. Yeah, possibly for a short, but they had some great earnings. So, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I read that they've got some khaki pants that are selling really well for men. Um, so um, it's back to list. So and energy call, there's I highlighted that too, because look, there's a, a good looking uh, group. So that's sort of the way I kind of do my weekend, um, my weekend review. And the great thing about this with your iPad is that I can now I never had this ability because I because I actually changed carriers T Mobile, uh, T Mobile lets you hotspot off your cell phone. So we go to a church that it is a ways away from us. And on the way back from church, I just start going through these stocks. I can go through that 250 in about a half an hour and, and get a lot done, even while sitting in the car while my wife generously drives uh, for us. And so it's, I, love, I love using the iPad because you can go through lots and lots of stocks. I use it during the week. Sometimes I use it with my desktop and I, I go through lots of stocks. Like on my monitor, what do I have going on there? I, I look at what's going on here. And then this, I might sort through, look, price change, which stocks are up the most on this list. And here, if, if, you know, here are a few names. There's that uh, yeah, double uh, DV that we were looking at before the, before the program. So I, I can look and see which ones are doing, doing the best and... So you can go through lots of stocks. I have 66 stocks. I even look at what's doing the worst. And, you know, it's on holdings, I'm starting to see a lot of people wearing those sneakers, but that stock is not responding. Um, and maybe with Roger Federer out of uh, action, he's coming back for the Labor Cup. <laughs> maybe that get a little bit more publicity. Anyway, so that's the way I kind of go through my monitor, my, my uh, iPad to, to, because going through the desktop, going through a lot of names, man, I'm just hitting the space bar over and over again. And it just takes, it takes forever. This way you can see, you can see four stocks at a time and go through them pretty mm -hmm. quickly because That's I'm looking, awesome. yeah, I'm lo just looking for specific things. You're looking for an uptrend. You're looking for near new highs. You're looking for a consolidation from new highs. Those three things then you take it down to you. Then you start going through Can Slim once you have those three characteristics. That's great. Thank you so much, David. A couple of follow ups, uh, questions, and just uh, information for the audience. So, first, with the alert lines, those can be set on desktop, but they do show up on the iPad. Right. The, uh, Black is a live alert. The orange is an alert that has been triggered. So again, they will show up on the app if you draw them on your desktop web. Also a question for you, David, from Shane, and that he's asking on average in a good market, how many stocks do you typically have flagged? Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely below a hundred. 
And, um, but because sometimes, you know, you get, you get different perspectives on an iPad versus your desktop. And I, I like the perspective the most on the desktop because it's bigger. And so sometimes I'll just flag something and then look at it at the desktop and see, oh yeah, it's just not, yeah. it's just not right. So I might flag more mm -hmm. just, just to have a closer look, but you know, I might have, by the time I go through, you know, hundreds and hundreds of stocks, I'll have, you know, 50, 60, 70. But then by the end of going through that, then I'll get that way down into maybe 20 right. stocks that I'm really focusing on. One thing I might want to mention is that you see this uh, Kurosushi, you can set an alert on the iPad. So you go up to alerts and then you see this bell with the plus. You click on that. You can and do a you, price alert. You can do a price alert. You can't draw a line, but you can do a price alert. Mm -hmm. And so, so this one's trading at 74 right now. I'll put the price alert at 73 and I'll hit set. And so if it hits 73, then, um, then that will, that will uh, trigger. Let me see. I don't, uh, yeah, I can't maybe because it's so close and there's things overlapping it that it's uh, not, you can't, you can't actually see it on the iPad. Well, I mean, yeah, now I go to my desktop and I see it set. Let me just, tr let me just set it again. I'll set it for 60. So you can see set. There it is at 60. So you, now you see the little symbol, that little black triangle pointing towards 60. So when it hits that, then your alert will go off and uh, it'll go off also on your desktop. So it's it's a great way. So if you're going through and you really like the stock and you want to set that an alert, you can you can go ahead and do that. I guess you can also do journal where you can write your own notes about it and then go back to fundamentals. That's great. And uh, another tidbit from someone in our audience because we are getting a lot of people, well, wow, if this you know, four panel, view is available on iPad. Can I get that on desktop, which I know, David, you would love to see. And we have a lot of improvements in the pipeline that we're, we're very yes. excited about. But someone from our audience is saying, if you have a new MacBook Pro that uses the M1 chip, and you've also updated to Mac OS Monterey, you can get iPad apps on your Mac. So uh, that uh -huh. could be the little the trick to uh, getting that view on your Mac if, if you have those uh, a specific yeah chip there well and, if that uh, if that OS. could work if that could work that would be great and if somebody actually can do that i think they should let everybody know because i think you know i'd be interested in, in doing that too yeah Someone yeah. might be making some uh purchases uh, uh <laughs> yeah stock going up yeah <laughs> yeah <Right. laughs> yes uh someone from our, our audience did did say that also uh jim uh, of course, letting us know that it's not just for Apple. If you have a Samsung tablet, this can also be used in the same way. So a lot of great information here, David, and we will be cutting out this clip for our audience to review later. We'll post it on the FAQ page, but a great review. And I know there yeah. will maybe have to do a round two with you next week. So you can talk more about uh, screening parameters. I know that was that was a question, but uh, this is a good way to get people started on maybe upping their weekend routines as well. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.